uh, Rafaela is great for this game. Pero yeah, why not? Pwede naman tayo magbigi. Instant counter sa time journey. Instant counter kay Paquito din. So is this the feeding digi strategy na pwede natin makita or normal digi? I, I feel like kailangan mag feeding strategy ni uh, Blackness dito to uh, disrupt the early game presence of the uh, Lancelot. Kasi kailangan na i-delay yung game ni Lancelot up to the, up, uh, up to the time na kayang-kaya ng lumaban ni Granger and mag-ube yung Blacklist International. And what the DK provides for them is the team fight presence. Kasi may, may eliminate nila yung threat okay. ni Kupra. So I like the adjustment. Instead of going for the Rafaela to help the Granger snowball or, uh, or earlier on, you completely shut down the idea of the lineup ng kalaban with the DK pick. So, kailangan... Kailangan maging maingat ng RSG MY. Yeah. We still don't know if this is a feeding DK for this game. They have the Beatrix for the final pick, and we're entering the game once again. Can Blacklist finish off this series with this Diggy? That the Popol and Koopa nato kasama si Eson. Let's see. Pero ito ha, gusto ko lang maiba ng topic. Beatrix, nagiging magandang pick for some teams, and especially oh. Lulials. I, I think Beatrix, especially pag nilagay mo yan sa gold lane, may ability yan na makabubad during oh. the early mid-game phase. At meron din siyang late-game scaling. Especially if bang makakagulat ka. Dahil kadalasan pag yung shotgun na natamaan ka na sobrang melee, oh. eh, masasaktan ka talaga. Pero tingnan mo to, paki ito, Men, nasasaktan. Men, speaking of, ano ha, speaking of shotgun, actually Beatrix yun. Uh, yung Beatrix dito, nag-gets ko na din Midnight Umi. Kaya rin nagdigi, patayan natin yung Beatrix. Oo, oh, hindi pinit ginawang baby gold lane. Nako! Oh, Ayun na nga, Be nabanggit mo to Umi, masakit ang Beatrix siya. Pero kapag na-shutdown mo ng ganito, ang bilis ng farm ng Harit, yeah. ang bilis ng, ng pwedeng makuhang gold ng Harit dito. Baby Harit, pinibi this yeah. time ni, uh, ni Eson, si Oheb. And looking at yung, ano na yun, ha, yung matchup na yun, pag dinagdaga mo ng DG si Oheb, magbibigyan mo ng protection ang isang Harith na kailangan talaga ng oras para mag-scale up. And against a Beatrix, Harith early game versus early game Beatrix, pag natamaan ka, yung sniper na ganyan, masakit talaga yan. Shotgun, masakit din. There's a lot of options yeah. para sa RCMY on this gold lane. Pero dahil binaby yeah. ni Eson dito si Oheb, eh, nagiging masaya lang ang buhay. Happy life si Oheb sa gold lane. Happy life at tama, uh, uh, tap, nabag git mo pa kanina kaya ding sumabay ng isang Benedetta sa Pakito tama ba mm. uh, kaibigang uh, kaibigang Umi so with that nila mang sa lahat ng lanes ang blacklist well din naman lahat kasi look at si Benedetta against sa Pakito but oh, what oh. what blacklist international has on the mid game is the insane mobility around the map to contest objective pero to RCM mo na una sila kasi nakapwesto na si Zacos and Lancer din kasi yan meron sila ditong pang counter go ng Digi oh, no. but this time si Wise ang masasapak Ni Kaiser. So yeah, uh, tama ka naman, Midnight. Uh, Kaiser still is doing great. Pero ang tinitignan natin dito is yung shutdown sa baba. Dahil nako yung Harit ay masakit pa din. Isa namin. Oh! Oh! Ano? Gundo uh, naman yung nakakap na yun. Maganda yung nakakap. At Venus! Kagat ni Kupa! Kagat ni Kupa! Umabot na! Pa. Oh, isa pa! Sayang! Nabitin para kay Venus. Akala rin siguro ni Venus. Malamatilda pa yung galaw niya kanina eh. Pero kasi hindi lumilipad ang aso. Pero tignan natin, muntikan. Makakuha si Venus ang kill. And yun yung mga risky plays na madalas nating nakikita sa side ng blacklist na pwede oh, no. mapitas. Nangyari din yun nung isang araw. So this time, at least yung RSG nakakuha ng magagandang kuha. Yeah, and RSG MY right now. Nakuha nila yung turtle, nakakuha siya ang pick-off. They've survived the early game damage coming in from Venus. They're on their way into trying to start this potential snowball. Pero kailangan nyo tandaan na they need to shut down Ohem. And habang sinasabi ko, nangyari din yun. So RSG MY, medyo nakikinukuha na nila yung pace. But let's look at the gold lead. Hindi pa naman ganun kalala. Sa isang libo lang. Pero Umi, binanggit mo ha, you need to shut down certain heroes sa side ng blacklist. Naisahan na si Venus. 
na isahan na din si Oheb, si Edward na lang ang natitira. May onting counter go ang Blacklist International dito, but again, this is a game na kahit papano pwedeng sumabay na yung RSDMY, unlike game number one, yeah. na snowball talaga yung lineup ng Blacklist. Actually, this is a threat of what Blacklist adjusted into, you know, yung digging na pinangbaby nila against the Harat. Yes, you gave Harat enough time to be able to farm up against the Beatrix, pero problema kasi hindi naman yun yung pinakaunang timer na kailangan nila. Ang kailangan nilang gawin in this game is pahirapan yung Lancelot, kasi once you give Lakes yeah, the early game that he needs, which he did get, mahihirapan sila pagdating ng mid-game. Kahit kano kayama itong Harit at mahihirapan yung Grigio. Pero mahihirapan din si Zakus sa kanyang pagkuha ng initiation dahil nagamit na ang time journey. Second turtle for this game. Who's gonna get it? Uh, gotta get it. Lamang ang RSCMY sa position. Pero sumabog ang mukha ni Kaiser. Wala siyang kampe pala doon. Pero this time makuha nila ang turtle. Sabog. Pero ang kapalit ay sumasabog ng mga mukha ng kanyang mga kampe. Dahil si Edward ay Kagat. nandito nakaseki na kagat-gagat. Sabay hinila pabalik. But still, it is a 2 for turtle trade. Blacklist International, kahit pa paano, ay nakakuha ng onting paghabol sa early game lead ng RCMY. Yeah, ang ganda ng focus din ng Blacklist. No? Alam din nila na hindi ganun kadali kunin yung turtle against the Lancelot. Pag talon ni Zakus, all, uh, all, uh, all of their eyes turned to the heroes of RCMY. Pero nagagal na si Zakus, sinundan yung sunod na hero. Kasi again, hindi mo kailangan i-contest yung objective ni Lancelot. Kailangan mo makipag-trade against RSG right now. Yeah, trade is the name of the, the game. Na, at ang kaganda na nagiging trade ng RSG, ha? may mga nakukuha silang kills na hindi nakakabawi ang Blacklist. Oh, oh, definitely. Mm. Pero tingnan natin ito, ah. Nas nandito si Venus. He's yeah. gonna go for the 2v1, pero mukhang makakatakas naman pala. Yeah. Actually, tutuloy pa rin si Zakus dito. Walang tigil, no? For this game, Zakus, tuloy-tuloy ang kanyang pag-initiate. Nice. Hindi pa rin tapos. Lexia, welcome in with the battle. Oh, Lexia, Edward! Cool nice one, Edward! The final blow para kay Edward. There you have it. But there you Woo. have it as well. Zakus will also flicker out. 15 seconds down to Lexia. Eson will fall down. Nakikita natin this time yung pagiging aggressive ng RCMY. Zakus, hindi niya nahuli agad si, si, si Venus. Mm. Pero hinabol niya ang gandulo. Ito pala yung dapat na paraan. Yeah, and this is why Edward is MVP of MBN Philippine Season 7. Kaiser, for the flicker out, medyo boy pa naman siya doon. Pero men, ang ganda ng Electo Final Blow to the Edward. Yeah. Oo. Oo. Buti na lang kamo na cooldown doon yung mga skills ni Lancelot. At nakakuha ng magandang pasok si Edward. But this is looking bad. If you're a fan of Blacklist International, uh, we're now seeing that RSGMY, sila yung nagdidikta ng tempo ngayon. Nakakuha sila ng magandang early game. At ngayon, kung ikaw ang Blacklist, paano ka makakabalik? I, I think, ano, uh, again, you just don't need to trade against... I, I mean, you don't need to contest Zakos? RSGMY. Trade lang talaga. Oo, trade lang talaga. Parang ganito, kuha ng isa, tapos pwede ka mag-back. Tama ba? Yeah. You just continue getting uh, getting this uh, trades against RSGMY. Kasi again, mayroon kang ano eh, mayroon kang timer na hinihintay. Eh. Son? Okay, there you go. First time makakuha si Wise ng Turtle. Pero going back to your point, Midnight, Lancelot kasi yung RSGMY. So you, again, you don't need to contest the objectives away from them. What Blacklist International can do is do whatever they need to do. Kung baga, huwag mong pansinin si RSGMY. Kung kailangan mo i-trade yung top lane, go for the top lane. Kung i-contest kasi si Turtle, turn your attention towards the heroes. Kasi mm -hmm. kahit din naman lumaban ng Blacklist International, just to stay afloat para pantay yung gold, hindi lumalamang yung RSGMY. Kasi once na nakarating na kayo na late game, you are in an advantage. Kahit may Lunox yung RSGMY, meron kasi, meron kasi kayo pang zone with the Pope and Koopa, meron kayong anti-team fight with the Diki, and yung damage output ng Blacklist International will just continue this game. Yeah, so choose your fights wise Pero nako, talagang pinipinit ni Zakus, pare! Nako, yan na. Pero kailangan natin kumanto yung go ng side ng Blacklist. Ito yung maganda this time sa RSG. Pinipilit ni Zakus ng pinipilit kahit na medyo awkward yung yeah. laban. Ang ako, ang... To be honest, ang awkward ng mga ganong setups. Yung setup niya kanina kay Venus, awkward yun. Ngayon, pati yun dito sa baba, under the tower. But wow! So, ito ba yung paraan? Ito ba yung paraan? Talagang gulatin mo ng ganon? Wait. Looking, that's one way to do it. But RCMY, they're pushing their advantages not only in one lane. Mm -hmm. Pupunta din sila ng mid lane. They're trying to get objectives. Pero papasok dito sa Blacklist. Sabi ng Blacklist kami din, manggugulat si Wysai Mega Kill na pala. Anong gulat-gulat? Walang gulat sa amin. Dahil si Ohev ay makakuha ng magandang Zaman Force. Pawing-pawi. Trade after trade. Tama yung sinabi mo, Midnight. Choose your fights wisely and Kaiser. wise. 
Sumasay ko pa ng gilid movements and si Edward pa yung makakuha ng top lane. RCMY biglang nawala yung lead nila. Sobrang lupit ni Edward. Niretry siya ni Lancelot para di siya makahabol. Pero sabi ni Edward, Pinoy ako, hahabulin pa rin kita. Yung Thorn Rose, in eye for an eye. At naabot siya nung Death Sonata. Talagang walang takas si Lexia. Kala niya, ano eh, kala niya, galing niya mag-Lancelot eh. Wala. Pero ang galing mag-Benedetto ni Edward eh. Mas Wala season ni MVP yan eh. Kabisado oh. ni Edward, yung Benedetta. Kabisado niya rin yung Lancelot. Napakadaling ma-eye for an eye. Akala natin lamang na yung oh, RSG. Pero mas... Akala lang pala yun. Akala mo lang lamang, pero hindi, hindi, hindi. Oh, alam mo naman, mm -hmm. Manjin, ang mga Pilipino, nagpapabugbog lang yan sa una. Pinapasarap, oh, pinapasarap lang, lang talaga. Oh. Oh. Para naman makaramdam lang laro si, oh. ano, si RCMY. Pero kidding aside, no, Blacklist International, again, ang ganda na nagiging sagot nila, hindi nila masyado pinagpapapansin yung RCMY. Even to may mga fights na nasa harap sila, yung magkaka, magkakaharapan talaga sila. Yeah. Magkaiba ng idea, magkaiba ng objective. Sige, konta siya yung turtle namin. Yeah. Hero yung papansin namin. Sige, kung test nyo yung mid-tower namin, nasa bottom lane kami, pupush namin yung tower yeah. nyo. Kasi meron naman tayo taga-hold. Again, Edward is the pillar of this playstyle. Blacklist International, what they're doing right now is whatever RSGMY wants, nandun si Edward. Siya lagi yung pantapat. Tapos susunod na lang yung Blacklist. Nakakaanap sila dito ng magagagandang trade kahit papano. Kahit nawawalan sila ng mga towers. At this time sila yung magsiset ng tempo. But still... RCMY respecting the damage of Blacklist and protecting this tower up until now. Well, and I just want to commend the positioning ni Wise at ni Oheb for the longest time nung lamang pa ang RCMY na iiwasan nila ang key abilities such as the Thorn Rose and Phantom Execution Yun at nga. hindi mo masyado nararamdaman ang damage ng isang Lancelot even in his oh! power spike. Pinigya ng tatlo na matay ang Lunox mo, kuya. He's an army disrespecting ang mga potok ng bala ni Wise 514 Umi kakasabi mo lang yung positioning ni Edward at ni Wise pa bali wala yung kalamangan ng RSG kinokomment natin yung RSG kanina ng early oh, er maganda naman kasi yung ginagawa ni oh, RSG ng early stages of the game but again yung mga maliliit na trades ang ginagawa ng Blacklist and yung micro micro mechanics talaga yeah. o positioning ng side ng Blacklist yun yung nakakuha ngayon. Umabot na tayo sa point na sila na ang oh. lamang. Alam mo, sa sobrang ipit na ipit yung RSGMY at nababaliw sila sa ginagawa ni Blacklist. Si Edward, one full minute nagpo-push siya may bottom lane na walang response. Kasi si Zakus, one full minute din na nasa mid lane and wala pa nga sila nagawa. Pinagpaparil lang ni Wise. Si Zanami. Three hits? Oo. Three hits. Yung isang well, lunox. Ano, isang, isang Rhapsody is dead sonata. Pero, oh, so ano, so... Six hits. Oh, oh. Nine, nine bullets. Nine bullets. Oh, pero tignan lang. Oh, saglitan lang yun. Isang, isang sapak nga lang ni isang Kuya Poen. Ayun na yung ube. Ayun na yung ube. Ayun na, pinatikin What na. What time is it? It's ube, ube time. time. Hila para kay Zakus. At ayun yung pasok ni Edward. Nako, ang dami nating sinabi ng early stages of the game. Pero bumalik lang tayo sa game number one. It's now Blacklist International controlling this game. At nagre-react na lang ang RSGMY. Ayan, ayan, again, rinse and repeat. Kung saan man gusto ni RSGMY, nandun si Edward. Si Blacklist International may sariling objective. Shift kagad sa hero. Gusto niyo kami contest? Dito kami sa hero. Paulit-ulit lang gagawin ng Blacklist to. Sa sobrang galit na ni Wise dito, pati yung Kramer, inuultihan niya na. Kasi bitin yung damage yung Dead Sonata para sa isang hero. O sayang to. Gamitin natin sa Kramer. Dagdag gold na rin. At this Lord will be uncontested for the side of Blacklist. Blacklist International, and again, this is already 12 minutes, 30 yeah. seconds inside the game. A Luminous Lord will be marching alongside the Blacklist International squad. Good news to para sa mga agents na nanonood. Oh no, looking like another dominant game for the side of Blacklist. Uh, again, uh, I'll be honest, akala ko talaga yun na yung parang game plan para matalo mo yung Blacklist. Eh. Gulatin mo sila sa mga awkward, ano eh, awkward na laban na ginagawa ni Zac uh, Zacus Edward, kanina. Edward, ah, pumupuesto doon, no? Oo, oo. Pero it's all about the pwesto. Mm -hmm. Pwesto Nation! Edward, papasok ngayon. Brilliance out. Si Lunox, pero na naman yung mga Oy, bala. Hila. hila, hila, dulce. Sabi dito ni oh, Edward. Oheb! Isa pa? Hindi Bigyan pa rin pa tapos. Pa, no? You can't see me. Harriet coming in. Pasok din dito si Edward. Lahat sila nakikita ng camera. Lahat sila may highlight moments. Blacklist International owning RSG. Nababaliw na yung RSG Mboy. Ang daming nangyayari. Pang parang ang dami nilang kalaban. Ang daming nag-e-exhibition. Mm -hmm. And wow! 
Blacklist International. Maaga daw tayong uuwi ngayon. They will break the code. And syempre, wala namang kabayas-bayas. Panalo ang Pilipinas. Ako, wala talagang kabayas-bayas. Pero hello, undefeated streak. 6-0 para sa Blacklist International. No? Men, gusto ko na sabihin. Paano ka man nanalo RSGMY? Kalaban mo international. Nako. It's not international. 